Your roster has songwriters that have a lot of respect and cultural cachet, like Andy Schoaf, Charlotte Cardin, and SoCan Songwriting Prize winners, Fast Romantic. Yes. How do you decide who you're going to work with? What are you looking for? We're looking for somebody who can write excellent songs. We're looking for somebody who has the drive to want to write songs and for that to be their passion. Who isn't going to give up? Who's committed? Uh, who is going to bug us every day? What can you do for me? What can you do for me? That's the songwriter that I want to work with. Um, for people who aren't as aware of publishers as you and I are, uh, what do you do for songwriters once you sign them? Well, the first thing we do is we, we usually spend a little bit of time figuring out what that songwriter actually needs because obviously there's different deals that you can do with the publisher and every songwriter has a different set of needs. But for somebody who is really interested, for example, in co-writing and who wants to be kept busy co-writing, then we spend some time usually setting them up with writers that we know very well to get a sense of their writing style, to get a sense of um, their abilities, and then we sort of progress from there. And every deal is different. I mean, obviously there's a sync element to it. Um, sometimes they need extras. Sometimes they need radio support as well. Sometimes they need marketing support. Uh, sometimes they need us to help them go out and find the rest of their team. So. Every day is different, every songwriter is different. How did Red Brick Songs come to be representing uh, John Lennon and the Rolling Stones? I guess the Rolling Stones might be through the ABCO catalog, right? Yes. But, so how does, how does that happen? Those are all deals that I made individually uh, with different you know, lawyers for the estates and publishers, um, contacts that I've had over the years, and a lot of aggressive knocking on doors and convincing them that they needed to have our services. So. So you represent them in Canada, or? We do represent them in Canada. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you active in organizing song camps or getting your artists involved in song camps? We are. Um, we've done quite a few of them, and um, they're really a, quite interesting and kind of exhausting exercises, but so worthwhile because usually at the end of those experiences, the songwriters come out of those camps feeling so inspired, um, and we've always had some great experiences ourselves in terms of you know the chemistry between certain songwriters it really gives us a lot of information as a publisher and we've also had some wonderful songs come out of those camps uh, songs that have either gotten cut or have had great sync opportunities and sync placements so nice yeah do you have a, some examples perhaps there was a song called drifting that came out of our last songwriter camp and i think we've gotten like 11 or 13 syncs for that one song um, it was cut eventually by uh, one of the writers was in a band called On and On and, um, and unfortunately they're not together today but they were at the time and they cut the song and it was just a beautiful song but the version that we also did at the camp also had legs and um, it was you know it was sort of remixed it was everything happened to the song but it was also it had an amazing number of sync placements so that's one of our great success stories. Lovely. Probably Jennifer. paid for the entire camp. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Mitchell, thank you so much and congratulations again. Thanks very much.